Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we'll be looking at data transformation in Elastic Stack. Okay, so here we are going to look at different options that we have to transform and enrich our data in Elastic Search Text Stack. Okay, so I'm I'm working on uh, Fedora 37 workstation with Elastic Search components installed. That is Filebeat, Logstash, Elastic Search, and Kibana. Okay. So as we know, like most of the organizations implement Elasticsearch in a particular fashion, like they have their own standards, but most of the organizations have uh, like Filebeat, Logstash, Elasticsearch, and Kibana as their implementation text, text type. The primary purpose of uh, like Elasticsearch is for indexing purpose, like it basically indexes the data uh, that it gets from either the Elastics, uh, uh, from the Logstash or the Filebeat. Okay, and Filebit, it's basically used for shipping the data or logs from the server to the Logstash or Elasticsearch directly. And Logstash is also uh, carrying out the same, uh, 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 is used for the same purpose. So it, it is basically used for uh, transforming the data or uh, uh, enriching the data that it gets from the Filebit or from any other source and it sends that transformed and enriched data to Elasticsearch. But what benefits we have uh, or what are the different options we have to transform the data uh, in Elasticsearch tech stack. Okay, So that is what like we are going to look uh, into in this article or in this video. Okay, so, so let me show you the basic workflow that the, every organization follows. So as I said, like this is the basic workflow that most of the organizations uh, follow uh, in order to uh, like index their data. So basically they uh, install beats or the file beats on their servers uh, from where they want to capture the logs or the events and they send it to Logstash. Logstash does the transformation or enrichment of the data. Uh, basically, it is like uh, adding fields or modifying the fields and carrying out various uh, different operations on the data and sending that enriched data to Elasticsearch for indexing purpose. And finally, like we have Kibana, which is a dashboard for uh, wherein we, uh, we can use the search and analytics feature uh, to basically look at our data and generate reports or analyze uh, them further okay so this is the basic workflow like uh, every organization follows okay let us go back to our documentation okay so as i said like we are going to look at the different options uh, and the benefits that we have to uh, basically transform the data at different layers okay so first thing is data transformation at file bit okay so as I said, like uh, most of the organizations are using the file bit as only a log shipper or log forwarder or event forwarder. Okay, so it basically does nothing other than forwarding the logs or the data uh, uh, events to log stash or elastic stash. Okay, but other than that, like we can use file bit for data transformation purpose also. Okay, so data uh, file bit has uh, processors which are which can be used to transform the data okay so let me go into google and search for file bit processors okay okay so here is the page uh, which provides us with the information about the different processors which are available in Filebit which can be used to transform the data that you want to index. Okay, so as you can see like these are the different uh, processors that we have like add fields like it will add uh, additional field into our data decode uh, we have decode JSON fields so it basically is used to uh, decode the JSON field data and put it into a different field like we can uh, put it into a different field or uh, the target field so those 
uh, this is a script which, which basically implements a javascript function uh, wherein we can write the javascript fun uh, function to transform our data field value or whatever we want to do with our data fields okay so these there are various kinds of uh, processes that are available uh, which we can use uh, with filebit to transform our data instead of going for log stash separately to carry out the data transformation okay so here is my uh, basic uh, snippet of code uh, which uh, basically uh, uses some different types of uh, processors so as you can see like i have decode json fields processor which basically captures the json data or json value uh, from a particular field called message and takes it into a target field called data okay and uh, we have the convert processor which basically takes all the fields which are there in this message uh, uh, in the target data field and uh, it uh, maps it into a particular different field name and with a different type okay so basically it is uh, used for mapping the fields to their specific data types so this can be carried out using the convert processor and the third one that i have used is script it basically uh, uh, like um, implementing some kind of a javascript which takes the data field uh, the data from the field and uh, basically it is uh, trying to uh, like transform it or replace some uh, special characters in it with uh, different characters and uh, like replace that field value with that new value okay and the finally like i'm using this truncate field basically it carries out uh, truncation on the field value uh, which has finally we occupy uh, we have got it from the uh, like previous step okay so these are the different processes that we can use to uh, transform the data at the file bit layer okay but what benefits uh, we have in using the file bit at uh, file bit as a data transformation okay so if our log data or if our data that we want to index is like not huge like basically like whatever uh, documents that we receive uh, uh, from the source if they are like small enough like we can carry out the processing at the file bit layer itself and send that transformed and enriched data directly to elastic search for the indexing purpose but like if our uh, like documents or the data that we want to index is huge like uh, every document or every log that we want to like transform is huge then like it might take all uh, like the cpu and uh, memory resources at the file bit layer to transform that uh, that each uh, log data or each uh, json data so uh, we need to take into consideration uh, that like it is going to occupy your uh, like server uh, with that uh, processing uh, resource uh, processing time so it is going to take up the cpu and memory resources so we need to consider whether our log data is small or huge based on that we can uh, decide whether we want to use file bit for transformation or not okay so basically like uh, we uh, mostly uh, implement the file bit on the servers from where we want to take the log data basically it will be a production server which we do not want to impact by uh, like doing the transformation activity on the file bit layer so that is one uh, drawback that we can get um, that we have if we are going to use file bit at a uh, file bit for transformation on the production server but sa saying that said that like if you uh, if you are not doing that much of a transformation in the log uh, like we can uh, we can carry out that activity at the file bit layer and uh, get the benefit out of it by removing an, an additional layer like log stash uh, from our process okay so that is what like we can do with data transformation at file bit let us now go into uh, the second option that we have for data transformation that is at log stash layer okay 
this is the most uh, preferred or the uh, method like every organization uses uh, for transforming and enriching that uh, uh, their data because logstash can take the input or uh, input from various different sources and carry out the different uh, uh, transformation like it can be used as a centralized server uh, which can take the inputs from different sources and carry out the transformation and send that uh, transformer data to Elasticsearch for indexing okay and in logstash like in logstash we use filters uh, basically to transform our data okay so let me go into logstash and search uh, for filters in google okay so these are uh, let, let let the page open it so these are the different uh, filter plugins that we have that we can use to transform our data in logstash layer so as is like uh, i have a small snippet which uh, carries out the same activity that uh, we have uh, same data transformation activity as we have seen in the file bit section okay so here uh, you can see like i'm using the json filter which is used to uh, like extract the, uh, the json data from the message and send it to the target uh, which is data and we are using some kind of uh, mutation uh, which is basically converting the data uh, to their specific types and we have added some fields additional fields and uh, we have provided that uh, field data type here and we are using this ruby code uh, basically to uh, like uh, carry out some uh, like a modification to our field value uh, in logstash okay so this is how like we can use the filters in logstash to carry out the data transformation and uh, enrichment activity so the benefits that we have uh, with logstash is uh, we have a separate server which carries out this transformation activity uh, with which like we are not overburdening the server uh, from which we are actually taking the logs so basically like uh, let's say like if file bit is uh, uh, like used for log shipping on a production server uh, instead of carrying out that uh, transformation activity on the file bit layer we are carrying out the transformation activity on the logstash layer if our data is huge like it will be a, a huge benefit for us because we are not uh, like impacting our production server uh, with that transformation activity and this is like basically being carried carried out in a separate server with separate resources occupied for it okay so that that is a major benefit that we can uh, achieve uh, with with the uh, logstash for data transformation but as i said the only additional uh, uh, only drawback that we have with logstash is we need to have a separate service or server running uh, the logstash for only the data transformation purpose so that is the only drawback that i can see uh, right now with logstash okay so now let us go into our third option uh, for data transformation that is data transformation at elastic search okay so this is like basically like uh, until now like we have seen like file bit carrying out the data and so data transformation and logstash carrying out our data transformation okay and we have seen some of the benefits and drawbacks of both of the cases but now let us look at uh, the third option wherein we use elastic search for carrying out the data transformation okay so elastic search has uh, some feature called pipelines wherein we can define uh, the data transformation uh, flow uh, uh, instructions in the pipeline uh, which is like basically triggered before uh, the data is getting next so let me explain it clearly so let me first go into the pipeline okay so this is the pipeline so as you can see 
uh, this is the ingestion pipeline it takes the documents it uh, converts or transforms the data uh, as per the instructions in the pipeline and it sends that uh, transform data for uh, indexing to the target index okay so this is how the pipelining uh, pipelines work okay and in pipeline like we have different processors So these are the different uh, processes that we have, uh, which which we can use, similar to what we have done in uh, FileBit with processors or in uh, uh, Logstash with filters. Okay, so we have uh, we can use these processes to convert or extract our JSON data. Okay, so this is JSON data which we can use to extract our data, and uh, we have some uh, other. Uh, processors so let me look, let me go to uh, my snippet of code that I have used to transform our data at uh, Elasticsearch layer using the pipeline okay so here like I have used the JSON field data similar to what we have done in FileBit and Logstash uh, to extract the JSON data and we have used some kind of convert uh, converter uh, convert processes which are used to uh, map the field data to a specific type and uh, provide a target field name for them so these are all the converters that I have used and here I am using a script uh, which is uh, similar to the JavaScript but here uh, we have written a painless script uh, the language is painless so here I am going to uh, like basically take the index data field and uh, basically truncate it using a script okay so this is how like you can carry out the uh, the tra data transformation at Elasticsearch layer and take the benefit out of it okay so instead of putting uh, the file bit on a load and uh, or putting an additional server uh, at uh, uh, log stash for log stash uh, we can carry out the data transformation at elastic search on the elastic search itself and do the indexing directly on that server okay but the only draw uh, drawback uh, i would say it as a drawback but the only uh, thing that you can notice is uh, while you're do, uh, doing the data transformation activity at the elastic search layer uh, you might notice some uh, slowness or some uh, slowness in the search and analytics feature but that will be nominal in case like your data uh, transformation activity is not huge like it is if it is not taking that much of CPU or memory utilization like you will get the benefit out of it like you won't need uh, production server to be overloaded uh, like you can just shift that uh, data from file bit directly to elastic search and in elastic search like you can carry out the data transformation uh, that will be nominal okay so in that way like you can save one server from uh, the process like basically eliminating the log stash from this process and just uh, using file bit and elastic search so this is what like I wanted to show you in this uh, video like basically carrying out the data transformation uh, layer at different uh, data transformation at different layers like you can try out uh, this in your environment like try to see like uh, uh, carrying out the data transformation at file bit log stash and elastic search layer and try to uh, capture the statistics of the CPU and memory utilization and see what benefits you have uh, like in case uh, if you are using the uh, the transformation at the file bit or log stash or elastic search layer like you can try to uh, eliminate uh, some components out of this process and see the benefits out of it okay yeah so that is all from uh, my end for this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day